While I was gone, the Elm Hill City Zoo was secretly under construction. Let me present you the new parking lot, the new entrance and the new plaza done by Zoof. guys, this is Caesar Creates and welcome back to my channel! It feels so amazing to be back to record for you guys again. I've missed this so much, I've missed you guys, so I am so so happy to be back after my break. Uh, as you guys can see, I am wearing my San Diego Zoo t-shirt. Yes, I visited the San Diego Zoo uh, on my trip, if you haven't seen that. Uh, and it was totally amazing, I am so so beyond inspired by the zoo. And I cannot wait to uh, build something inspired by one of the habitats from the zoo. But this is not the topic of today's video. Uh, the topic is that while I was awake, away, awake, <laughs> away, <laughs> uh, there was actually something really cool and really secret happening in the Elf Hill City Zoo. And this is all because and thanks to Mr. Zoov, uh, who you might know from places like Bronation. He also worked with, uh, with uh, Leaf, for example. Uh, so the whole story behind the secret project is that uh, while I was doing my uh, update tour of the Elm Hill City Zoo a while ago, it was in December I think, uh, I was showing guys the zoo, talking about the future of the zoo and so on, and I told you that uh, I want to rebuild one day uh, the entrance and the parking lot to, uh, to our zoo, but I wasn't sure sure if I want to do it now, I wasn't too interested in it, I am still focused on adding new uh, habitats to the zoo, uh, and one day I got a message from Zoof, who's seen this video, and uh, told me, like, asked me, uh, hey, uh, I would like to build something for you, uh, maybe I can do uh, this plaza, this uh, this uh, parking lot and the plaza and, uh, uh, and the entrance that you talked about in your video, and I was like, yes, why not? Uh, why not, you know, share uh, this zoo with a very talented creator and let him do his magic in here? Uh, as I told you guys, I wasn't too interested in building parking lots. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I was very like... Uh, why not? La yeah, let's do this. Let's let's go. Uh, I've seen his work. I know that he's amazing in this game. So let's see what he actually did while I was away. I am super curious. I haven't seen that. I just quickly like move the camera into the zoo so I can do this intro. Uh, so yeah, without further ado, let's go and let's see what he did, what he had rebuilt. Uh, I got some questions from him, so I know more or less what was happening. Oh, he also told me to mention Ricey and Drake, who helped him a bit, so I need to do that. Uh, and yeah, uh, what else should I also say in this intro? Oh, that I am using the camera for the first time in a Planet Zoo video, and if you guys like it, if you like to see my face in here, I am quite, you know, uh, willing to do this more, so definitely tell me if you are interested in that. I am using a camera in my recent uh, Jurassic World Evolution 2 videos. Yeah, I'm a bit rusty after this break, sorry. Uh, here you, go, here we go, here we have, by the way, my Planet Zoo shelf, if you haven't seen that. So I have some plushies and I have a lunchbox and... Uh, and here are my adoption papers. Oh, because I, if you haven't seen that, uh, my channel is an of official sponsor uh, of two different animals in the Gdańsk Zoo. This is a very new thing. Uh, so we have uh, here a diploma that I am uh, officially a sponsor of uh, the zoo, uh, of the two habitats. This is the Amor, Amor uh, Tiger and the Scimitar Horned Oryx in Gdańsk Zoo, in my local zoo. Uh, so if you guys will be visiting this zoo, definitely uh, go and check out those habitats. To send me a pictures of my placards because there are those special things that Caesar Creates is sponsoring those animals. Uh, some of you actually still don't believe that I'm Polish, uh, so maybe I'll say something in Polish just so you believe. Uh, 
Cześć! Nazywam się Czarek i sponsoruję zwierzęta w zo w Gdańsku Tygrysa i Oryksa. Jeżeli chcecie, żebym udostępnił wasze zdjęcia na moim kanale, na moim Instagramie czy innych miejscach, zróbcie zdjęcie i prześlijcie mi i z chęcią zrepostuję te zdjęcia. Sorry for everyone who is an English speaker. You didn't understand the world, but I know that there are a lot of Polish people watching me, so hello to everyone from Poland. Okay, and without further ado, let's see what Zoo has built for us in the Elm Hill City Zoo. I cannot wait. Okay, so let's see what is new in the Elm Hill City Zoo. Uh, Zoo told me to start in this place, so this is actually what we're gonna do. And right away, I can see so many new things. Uh, okay, so we have this like parking lot. We have a lot of like uh, different lanes and those things. I'm not sure how they are called in English, but those are the custom lamps in here. We have the traffic lights. Uh, we have the entire street. <laughs> what? What is going on? Uh, so yeah, we have this parking lot and it is a bit like on this side. So maybe it's for the staff or someone. Uh, this is the baby. By the way, this is the Babirusa habitat and the llama that are quite old in the zoo. Uh, and yeah, look at those uh, like leaves and the bikes in here. This looks so like realistic and so cool. And also I love those fences uh, and the colors of the pavement and the paths. But wait a minute, how is it even made? If we'll go to the... Oh, I see what you did there. Uh, so, if you are not aware, I am certainly not a master in, in this because I don't use those things. Uh, because I am simply too afraid of breaking my own game, but... Those are the mods! This is the free build mod, as far as I am concerned, that allows you to do those paths next to each other and it is so much easier to place the actual paths thanks to this, and uh, so cool, actually. Uh, I wasn't too sure about using mods, but uh, this wasn't me adding them, so... <laughs> Maybe th this could be a way of uh, about cheating the mods inside of the Elm Hill City Zoo, not me actually <laughs> using them. Uh, so yeah, we have those roads. Like, uh, look at that, and we have this. This is what's meant like, to be a tram track or something. How is it actually made? Oh, using the train rides. This is so clever. And yeah, look how cool it looks. I actually had some trees covering this huge building because I, I'm not too in love with this. So I will have to add them back. But okay, so we have this. Uh, okay, like coming back. We have this huge or not huge, this, uh, this uh, parking lot in here and coming like continuing. Uh, we have some new trees in here and we have this entire new place. If you can remember, maybe I will add here, I will do like a little, uh, you know, screenshot of the parking lot that was here before. And the improvement is just mind blowing. <laughs> really, this was so like square and it looked like, I don't know, uh, I did it in five minutes and I was actually working on this quite a lot. but. This looks amazing! Look at those roads! Like, we have the entire, like, intersection in here with the traffic lights, with the bike lanes, or however they're called. We even have the sewer! Oh my god! And I love the decal work on here that uh, there, those things are a bit, like, covered by the decals, some, uh, you like, know, brakes on the path, and... Oh my god! The bikes! <gasps> And we have the new entrance. Yeah, so I hope that some of you won't be mad that actually the entrance is gone. Uh, the entrance that I did was gone. But this one looks so much better and so much more fitting into the zoo. Uh, the one that I did was kind of like a cartoonish version of the entrance to the Berlin Zoo. Like, Zoof asked me a lot of questions uh, about uh, my inspirations, about my things. I actually see so many new things in here. I cannot wait to see that, See that, but uh, let me finish. Uh, and I told him that, of course, this was inspired by the entrance to Berlin Zoo, and he asked me if he can improve that. And I was like, yeah, sure, but I thought that he would just improve my buildings, but actually he rebuilt that completely and 
I must say that I really love it. It looks amazing. They are definitely smaller than my version, but... Uh, okay, so we have some ticket booths in here. What I will do is actually probably add some, you know, ticket signs or anything, uh, because uh, you need to, like, think that there are actually some tickets, but I still love it. The gate, the gate itself is so insane. It looks amazing. Uh, so we have the lions on the gate. This is so, like, uh, so... Um, uh, this comes just straight from Berlin, and they also have those lions, and they are in-game, right? Yeah, uh, the perfect statue to, to use it for. Uh, okay, maybe before we'll jump inside the zoo, uh, let's see this side, and what is... <gasps> okay, so we have the entire parking lot in here! Oh, it looks amazing! We have so many spaces for cars! It looks so, so good! Just look at that! Oh my god, I love it. I really do love it. And I also love the colors of... Even though those are in-game paths, I, I think that they work somehow. And also, this is definitely custom. Uh, so yeah, this is custom and it looks amazing. I love the lampos. I love everything about this. Like, this is so, so cool. Yeah, this is just amazing. I just love the vibe of it. Like, it is so much more covered with foliage. We have those drives in here we have the bicycles the bicycles are so so important especially for european zoos and we also have okay this was here was the, like a staff parking lot that i did and he did like this so i'll probably add some staff sign so this is the management building as you can remember that i, I don't know if he did something in it no but the Oh, the stairs are missing. <laughs> this is quite surprising. Oh, probably he moved the building a little bit and the building had paths inside, so the, I will have to add the paths uh, back. But uh, I'm not mad. <laughs> this is still amazing. Uh, we have our a restaurant that we had. Uh, so uh, also I will add probably some details back here, but uh, I am not mad about this. Uh, also, okay, he probably moved a bit this habitat, so we'll just do some magic uh, in here, so it looks, it all works. Also, this thing is new, and it looks amazing. This is probably, okay, so we, okay, this all makes sense. Uh, we have the parking lot, right? And the parking lot, there are cars, people, and so on. So this is a, like a screening thing that is meant to be uh, protecting the animals from the sounds, from uh, the sides of just people looking at them and so on. So this is so clever and it looks amazing. So yeah, this is all the things outside of the zoo. It is, looks amazing, doesn't it? It just looks so, so much better than the than the thing that I did. Like, it looks uh, real. <laughs> it looks realistic. And I am uh, like trying to make the zoo so much more realistic right now, like with buildings like, for example, the reptile house that I've built recently. Uh, and you guys loved it, so thank you so, so much for that. Uh, okay, we have quite a lot of notifications. I didn't have that. I will have to check it out. Uh, and also, uh, I saw that there are some things that he probably used, so I also need to uh, delete that. But besides that, let's go inside. Uh, he asked me if he can do something with my buildings. I was like... You know what? I work on them quite a lot, so uh, if you could use my buildings, but maybe improve the area around them, that would be amazing. And he agreed to that, so let's see what he did with those. Uh, so the uh, gift shop is, I think, a bit moved, or maybe not, but it is still my own gift shop. Uh, and now we have some additional paths in here. We have a fountain, but I'm not mad that it is gone, because uh, I think that this looks totally amazing. I also love like that he used this buff instead of the concrete one. Uh, we have my RS around in here. Uh, also, it is not changed, but there were some tables in here. <laughs> Probably he also moved it, so uh, that's why they are gone. I will add them back on. That's not a problem, but I can see that this is the biggest change. And I actually love it so much. I love it. 
The education center was uh, on the same level as uh, all those buildings and now we have this like s a bit of an incline in here and it has this ent entire like this ramp to go there. Okay, so also this is all, all new. We have a staircase in here. Uh, so if the guests will go here, they will go to my education center that I've built quite a long time ago. They also have an additional entrance in here. Uh, I also love that it is a wheelchair, wheelchair friendly uh, building now. Looks amazing. Yeah, this is my building, so it looks amazing, but it looks amazing. I mean, this ramp and the things that we he did in here, because, oh, he also added some roof panels, like those uh, roof panels. I'm not sure how they are called, but yeah, this is so nice. I really love it. Really, really good, like amazing job. I'm so, so happy about this. Uh, okay. He deletes some of my hideous work in here, but I'm also not mad about this. Probably while moving some things, uh, we'll have to just, you know, add some foliage in here to fill it in. But the this part, it looks so, so nice. It makes sense now. Like, the guests can have so much more space when they enter the zoo. They now have, like, a clear path to go. Uh, there, before, it was just a fountain in here and three buildings and some hidden paths that you don't, didn't really have an idea where to go. But this looks actually really, really nice. I must say that I'm really impressed and I love it and I'm so glad that uh, Zoo actually uh, texted me and proposed that. Uh, so yeah, this is how the Elm Hill City Zoo looks now, and I love it! Uh, we also have something in here. Oh, this is... Okay, I think... Because there's a longer, right? Those are probably for the buses, if I am correct, or they are not longer. But <laughs> I would do this for the school buses or anything like that, so... Yeah, it looks amazing. I really must say that I love it. I love those fences. Uh, I love the different okay he added some custom trees really nice he added the trees that i don't use too much but they look so much so look good in here this is the london pain tree and also i think that i saw some of those trees what is this old cypress hmm interesting i haven't used them but it looks really nice i must say okay so yeah we have a new, uh, we have a new parking lot. We have a new entrance. We have a new street. Uh, imagine how well it will look when I will add all the uh, trees in here, plants and uh, different stuff like signs. I will also build uh, really nice habitats in here. In the future, I will finish this building finally. Uh, yeah, in the next episode, you can expect me adding a, a new animal uh, in one of those or in here. I still haven't decided, but. Uh, here we by the way we have the newest uh, water monitor uh, thank you for loving this episode as well you guys really really did so uh, this made me so so happy uh, so yeah this was all when it comes to this episode i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you like uh, what zoov did for us if you did make sure to leave some nice comments for him comments for him uh, he did an amazing job i must say that i really 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 love it it looks stuns 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 better than it was so i am really really happy about this Okay guys, thank you so much for watching this video, uh, if you uh, enjoyed it, please uh, give this video a big thumbs up, uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, uh, give this video, uh, leave a comment, I've, I'm so rusty <laughs> after, after, this, after this break, uh, I meant that you should leave a comment <laughs> under the video uh, if you enjoyed it, uh, leave some nice comment for Zoof and also tell me if you're excited that I am finally back. Uh, also ring the bell if you want to be notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, thank you for being here. Thank you for all the amazing messages uh, that I received to you while from you while I was gone. And uh, see you in the next episode. We'll probably add a new reptile to the Elm Hill City Zoo. And then we'll build something nice for the Desert Adventure Park. So those are my plans for the near future. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Bye!